Thank you, Mr. President. So one of the most interesting things that was said by my friend from the 23rd was the fact that this bill that we are considering is, is, is something that is, is, that comes from this body, that has been considered by this body, that it has is, it is been just combed over by the members of the Ethics Committee and, and we've all come together you know, to create this. The problem is, is that that's not correct with respect to this bill. Because it comes from the House and because the senator from the 23rd, who was the original sponsor of the bill, and I believe it was two pages, um, it was stripped and now it's 95 pages. 95 pages that haven't haven't been vetted by the Ethics Committee of this body. A bill that we haven't heard testimony on. Now don't get me wrong, there are portions of this bill because let me tell you something, it is like the Christmas tree of goodies in terms of voter suppression. And let's be clear, some of the most dangerous provisions have to do with the takeover of the local elections boards, but not only that, but at the state election board level. So what, so what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? We're gonna take the Secretary of State who is in charge of administering our elections, who is elected statewide, a statewide constitutional officer elected by the people of this state who has been charged with the administration of elections and we are gonna say, sorry, you just, you just take a seat. You're just gonna be kind of like ex officio non-voting. You can show up if you want, but it really won't matter at the end of the day. Oh, oh, and, and then we're gonna appoint our own chair our own chair to come from this body, which then, as a senator from the 23rd recognized, would then mean that three out of the five members would be appointed from this body. We would, we, not me, I wish it were, but the majority party in the Senate and the House would effectively control the state election board. So then it gets worse. Because then you've got this performance review board that comes in and is going to, you know, go over, you know, these bad local elections boards to, to try to get them in line, right? Well, they issue a report and then the counties can't even appeal those decisions effectively. How you say, well, it says it's subject to the Administrative Procedures Act. Well, it prevents counties from using county money to pay attorney's fees for that appeal. So at that point, you have a county who has a bad decision that basically has suspended their board of elections, and there may even be sanctions involved, and they can't even appeal it to a superior court unless they come out of pocket and I don't know about y'all, but a lot of these small counties, people don't have money to be paying lawyers to deal with performance reviews, appeals to the Superior Court. I will suggest to you that the whole point of that is to make sure that there isn't a review. That no one ever actually looks at what is going on. There's been a lot of talk about integrity. This is about the integrity of the vote, integrity of elections. We want to provide opportunities for people to vote. This bill is absolutely about opportunities. But it ain't about the opportunity to vote. It is about the opportunity to keep control and to keep power at any cost. I wish I could go line by line, but it's fairly long. And I can tell you what I have read, there's a lot of mistakes in here 
that's gonna cause a lot of trouble for local elections officials. This isn't gonna make it easier. This is gonna make it harder. I've been practicing law for 20 years. I've done election law. I've done election contests. I literally had to read this thing out loud like five times and ask my assistant, what does this mean? What are they trying to do here? This is not the product of considered work of this body. It's not. And it is okay if that is the will of the majority caucus just to, to take whatever the House has sent over. But I will tell you that there are so many problems in this almost 100-page bill that it's going to come back at some point, and it's going to cause more problems because there's going to be litigation, and there are going to be issues, and your local folks are going to have no idea what's going on. And not only that, but it's going to cost tons and tons of money. I know y'all want to get something done. I know y'all want to be able to deliver something for your constituents. But y'all could have done a lot better than this. I yield the well. <laughs>